The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 17th of July, mid month. And here we are, down 50, uh, 62 in the E mini. I just want to show you the 10 minute chart. I made a lovely peak E top. And then it did that thing that I talk about all the time that at four o'clock on the closing bell, Eastern time, that is. Uh, when there's been, especially when there's been a big move up or down, then you get the sideways move. And when it's up, it can go sideways in a very narrow trading range for a long time. But invariably, if it breaks the lower band, that is the rectangle. I've done webinars on these uh, rectangle formations, the large one, the small one, the narrow one that goes on forever. When it takes out that low, it starts to move down. And you've got to be careful. So it took out the 200-period moving average. It made that high at about in the 557, 15-ish uh, area. And then it came tumbling down. And even now, it's making a low. And that low says to me that what we've been talking about for my subscribers to the opening call, this bifurcated market starting to accelerate now. Yeah, we can go. I'll show you exactly what we're looking at. The Dow had one of its most spectacular days in a long time, in about a year. And it ran up over 700 points yesterday. So you could expect a normal thing would be to have at least one third of the last hour trading to be taken back the following session. But there was a Muraboza candle. That's a huge candle, green or red, that has no wick. I, I treat it as a Muraboza, even if it's just a fractional wick, mostly because it's, uh, and this is going to be important. Look, every single candle since about six sessions ago, has had the low that wasn't taken out that day. This one did, but all the others, the low was the low. And that's happened every single session, even today. And that just says that the Dow, the Dow 30, is in the sweet spot right now because the makeup of the Dow 30, it's no more the industrials, the makeup of the Dow 30 is essentially saying, this is the area we want to be in right now. And look at the way it's broken out in this double U formation in the, in the rectangle formation in the weekly chart with a huge move to the upside. So by Friday, uh, got two and a half days to go, a little bit more than two and a half days. If this candle is very much over the 40,077 candle of May, that's going to be really important. That's a breakout. And this is a leg E, a very quick peak C, one bar rest, with one month rest, leg D, then one bar rest, and now a leg E. This the, the way it's moved now, I have to consider there's just a chance that we've got an inside, whoops, that we've got an instant restart. This could be E slash A. I don't want to go there yet. I want to say I've already circled it to say it's a possibility. Just leave it at that. Let's see how for the entire month how 40,000 holds if there is any pullback at all. When I said bifurcated, I mean that there are areas, for instance, look, the IWM, and we're along the Dow, we're along the IWM, uh, we... This breakout in leg D, and one of the reasons why I said take a little bit of money off again, we've taken a little tiny bit off and a little off, I will be adding in a big position I at some point on the pullback if certain conditions are met. And that will be ready, getting ready for another move up. The reason why I'm doing the webinar on Tuesday for subscribers is we want to be looking at stocks and areas that are really moving now that had their big consolidations and now are breaking out. That's going to be important. So with that said, the IWM is down 75 cents at 223.73. But you know what? It just hit 226.64. That is quite, it's over 10% moving, just the shortest period of time. It's actually more than that, I'm just saying, at least from our entry point. Uh, so this is a leg D. D's where other things can happen, so you've got to be careful. I really am still calling this a leg B in the weekly chart, saying, you know what, this should still go to higher highs. And it's a leg C in the monthly chart. Look at that fabulous cup formation. Ha, huh, but wait a minute, let's go to the S&P. The S&P right now is making a lower low. Uh, it's down 67 to 55.99. So um, with that said, 
Look at the chat wave inside this lovely tech. I'm going to talk about a couple of these. I'm not going to get too carried away with techniques. You don't need too many, but I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to talk about this in great detail to say this chat wave inside track repellent zone. Look at that. How it's been. How it's repelled the price. Even here it's repelled the price, but that doesn't mean to say, oh my God, now we're going down to the 5200 level. No, it says we've turned the corner. Now you have to start monitoring. You've got a, a daily inside track repellent zone. You've got this trend line. Uh, I'm going to make it red. I shouldn't make it red. I'm just going to keep it there. This trend line resistance in the, in the weekly chart. You've got this huge monthly where it just snuck above it. The monthly chart goes back to the 666 low of March the 9th of 2009. And look where it is. It went right to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. But it's a very long-term one. It doesn't mean to say that it's going to get there and then reverse shop if that's the end of the world. It just means keep keep in mind that it has been repelled from an area that we discussed as a potential um, reversal area. And it's a monthly chart. Therefore, you've got a long way to go, days and days and days. Because if it doesn't break above yesterday's high, which is an all-time high of uh, six 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 nine. Oops, yeah, six 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 nine point six seven. Oh, loves the sixes, huh? Uh, five six six nine point six seven, and that comes from the six 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 low that was made March the ninth, two thousand and nine. Uh, yep, that's the, the that's the Monday, Friday. We on the sixth we went long the diamonds. We like to get lows. Um, we got that low right there. The last one's uh, October of 2022, uh, the 34.91 low, and we are still long that position. So let's just go to to what we're looking at right now. SMH is really the key. SMH is down 14 at 259. Um, what we're looking at is. I've been talking about this rotation that said that the tech sector and especially Microsoft and the SMHs, semiconductors, are vulnerable in this period. And we're looking at that, but as long as 255 holes in the uh, semis, that's good support. But in the meantime, look at that big move down. Add a leg D in the week, weekly chart, probably a peak D this week. And then I spoke about Microsoft, another technique that I developed years and years ago. I call this the uh, stalk leg formation, what happens is I take all the, all the doesn't matter about the troughs and peaks, but there's one long move to the upside. I call that a leg, like stalk stands on one leg, and then it goes to an oval pattern. Looks, it has to look like an oval pattern. If it doesn't look like an oval pattern, don't use this technique, okay? And this did look like it, and what I said is, now we should start, that's the body, it's a leg, Body, let me see if I've got my pointer here. Body, and then the neck. Neck doesn't tell you how high it goes because there are two basic for formations. But if it just goes above and then turns around, it means you've got the leg, the body, the neck. And I had said, now we're into, so, and we didn't go short, even though we were long, and I've been saying it's negative, negative, negative. I didn't want to mess my mind up because we were long from way down. And I'm anticipating that the uh, 433 to 431 is a target area in this particular phase, and there is the beak. When the beak concludes, usually it has a pretty good rally, and then you've got to use other techniques. So as it stands right now, the, we've been looking for a couple of sectors to start to rally strongly, and a number of sectors to start to weaken. That's the bifurcated market. That's what we've got. That was up 162. SMB's down 60. I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So let me just get uh, a couple of questions came in. Uh, it does up 167. S&P's down 50, what is that, 56. So we're looking at the 120-minute chart of the continuous contract of the ES. So you can see you've got your upper channel resistance line, slight, uh, I call it about a four-degree angle, maybe three-degree angle up, and then parallel at the bottom, and it's also a Chapman wave inside track uh, propellant zone so if there is a close at this point it's rising but i'll give you the number it's 56.46 i had said in the den that it below 56.38 and then you've got this uh, low that was made i excluded that for the moment it didn't seem important because it's a parallel line but at 10 o'clock that sudden spike to downside at 56.21 that that's there but I'm just saying that if this starts to break and you, you take out 50, uh, 56, 38, then the uh, 200 period moving average of 56, 14, I thought it was 18, 56, 14 becomes a target. I like to go one step at a time. And I do see some internal attempts at buying, especially when you've got the Dow moving independently high and the IWM has, uh, uh, it's down, but it's not really tanking like you'd expect it to. That just says, Buying's coming in until the, the market decides where it wants to go and the selling of the leadership uh, allows cash to be put to work in what's working. And I, I needed today to, to, to resolve. I just wanted to see where we go, where we close. My, I had back in my mind certain ideas. In fact, this is the point where in the, say, in the IWM, the Russell 2000, because it's become a leader, all of us, but just too many people are now talking, it, it was so sudden that it became a leader that I'm just anticipating it's going to have a bit of a pullback. So in that particular instance, once you get this MACD moving average convergence, someone asked me, um, are there techniques that you have where instead of taking little bits off, we're actually adding? This is exactly the one that we would have added but 
because of this rotational aspect, it was a little difficult to say that everything was on go because it was a mixed picture so that this, the aperture, the, the distance between the nine period differential in the moving average convergence divergence and the red uh, slower 26 period exponential moving average, that, that space to the upside says, wow, to go negative, you'd have to give back all the gains of the last week. And that's just not going to happen right now. It could happen later, but I don't think it's going to happen only one move unless there's just something horrible that happens, either the economy or something happens. All right? Uh, geopolitically, who knows? But in the meantime, that was a clue. The fact that it went so quickly, it's like a chap wave squash. It isn't quite the pattern that I like to consider the squash. Um, that That's a little different between the MACD and the stochastic the stochastic was on its way up for a while from the low that was made on the 17th of June at 197.17. It was already moving higher. So I don't get the squash. The squash would have been if uh, there was just a huge move from under under 10% in the stochastic all the way to over 85% in a very quick move. And we were only at peak B or maybe C in the uh, chart. This is all, everything happened in leg D a breakout of the chap wave inside track, repellent zone, and then moved out. But this is just telling me that it's the small caps are now in much more demand. They were not in demand before. They had phases, started off in October, and then it just kind of stalled throughout the um, March to this, this breakout now, right now in July. It's just been sideways, basically. Um, so that's just telling me and it's going to tell me for my subscribers and for when I do my uh, opening call um, webinar for subscribers on Tuesday. That we, we, in fact, I'm not waiting for Tuesday. I, I, if you're interested in my webinar and you're interested in my calls, then I'm probably, I'm, I'm probably going to start tomorrow getting into areas that I would have got into either yesterday or today with that huge move up said, oh, you got to see how it settles first before you, you dive back in, uh, to, to add, that is, so or into new positions. So this is very positive. Uh, I, I got some questions, but before I get to the questions, let me just do this. Um, yes. So let me just do it. Uh, someone, someone came up with FC, oh, XL. XL? No, I, I, I can't remember. All right, let's just do the FXI, which is the uh, China ETF. Remember I said that that huge move to the upside might have been just a little bit over enthusiasm uh, unfolding because Fox trying to follow the Dow, but now you can see it's pulled back sharply. So that's at 26.42. And all I can say is that it's, it's doing okay, but it's given back way too much over the last three sessions from the high in the 27s. It went down to the 26. Uh, 30s and here it is at 26.42. Uh, so I, that to me, that's a little too much. All right. So now let me go back to the questions that I had. No, I haven't finished what I need to do. So IWM is the Russell 2000. Very nice move here. It's in leg D. Oh, that's the other thing. In D, other things can happen. So the the even though it's fantastic, the IWM down 64 cents is in leg D, and it's broken out in the weekly chart. But look, the Dow is in leg E. So I'm just, I can't ignore these letters in the Chapman Wave methodology. It just says, uh, you've got to be, do you, do your assessment. Don't take it for granted. So do your say If you're still, I want to add to these positions, got to do your homework. All right, so with that said, let me just show you. The gold is up five it's given back some it did spike to a leg e so that's what i'm saying a whole bunch of these d's and e's just saying you know on a very short term basis there should be some kind of a pullback it did a beautiful left side right side price time match it was in a shorter time frame and the gold it went above the high that we were looking at in the continuous contract of the 20th of may at 2477 <clears throat> today we've gone to uh, 2488.4 pulling back a little bit the silver is trading down 77 cents at 30.60. Now, this is going to be very important because it went to a peak D. Remember, the Chapman Wave peak D is where other things can happen. That's your objective to get there. But when you get to there, 
and you're below the previous high, it says, you know, you didn't quite have the strength that you had before. Isn't it fascinating? Silver, gold was leading, then silver followed. Then silver was leading and gold followed. Now gold is leading and silver is taking a breather. They were going both together and it says to me, just be a little careful because sometimes when they go both together, when they play catch up and they're finally they're going hand in hand to the, to the moon, you just got to be a little careful because you get some kind of a pullback. So I'm just watching that. But if you look at the GDX, look at that move. That's a leg C. Should go to a D. It's still very strong. It's above the 78, 37, 87 high of May. It did pull back to the 32s. And here it is at 38.64. Nice action leg D in the monthly. And this I've got is a leg F. Could be an alternate account, but at least for now, I'm calling it an F in the weekly. So here, here again, it says great action. But you might get just a little bit of a breather now in the goals. Now, I also want you to look at, so for subscribers to the opening call, we, we have uh, a silver stock. It's done very nicely. It also has this Chapman Wave stall take formation. Um, what's today? Today is Wednesday. Yeah, maybe on Friday, technical Friday, I'll do a little bit of work on that. Okay, in the meantime, the Dow is now up, still up 155, but the S&P is coming back down again, minus 62. That was a chapter. Thank you for your out. Be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. 
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, so high-grade copper is pulling back. That's not such a good sign. I want you to also do this here. Let me show you. So the dollar is taking a dive. Very strong move down. Uh, it's made the arch formation, and today's exactly the day should, that it should be testing the 104.10, I think it is. 103.99 level from the 4th of June. I went right through that. So this is the arch formation. There's your inside wedge target support line. It just powered right through, and it looks very poor. The EUR, USD, this is euro dollar currency pair, is doing the exact opposite. That's what happens. And it's like a mirror image. In this case, it's a mirror image by um, replicating very much the percentage move, etc., uh, sometimes it's just directional, but in this case, it's actually almost like a mirror image. The inside wedge target repellent line got pierced today, right on the day. This is it actually did it three days ago, and it's done it again today. But it looks like it's at a close above the high that was made in June. That's important. And now, what you've got, you've got leg D going right to the 200 period exponential moving average at 1.096. And that's going to be important. If you look at the weekly, monthly chart, Ah, it's just sideways. It's not even a big deal. It's just going sideways. Ha, USDJPY, the yen, USDJPY. Look at this. USDJPY, sharp move down. Peak D at the top, pulls back uh, down at 156.47, down at 1.92. And the weekly chart at a peak, it almost looks like, the, doesn't it almost look like the uh, daily chart of the SMHs? So this says to me that there's a good chance it's going to 150 to test. 154 might even break it. This 154 is the level of 154.54 is the low of the 4th of June, and uh, it's got a little way to go. But it could do. I could uh, type in um, and do a, a chart formation that says when. But it's just saying by the beginning of end of this week, beginning of next week, it could do that. However, most importantly, I had a question. I, I did not finish the. I, I started it, but I didn't finish it. If I could do an analysis of the IWM. So, look, first of all, the daily chart, leg D, MACD is huge. It's just fantastic. Uh, on balance volume is um, overbought. The stochastic is flat at 94%. That's, you don't want anything more than that. You just want to say, fabulous, right? Flat and 94%, that is, that's what you want in a bull phase. Um, the 9 over the 14 is very strong, and the price is way, way over the 9, let alone the 14. So that just says, that is very positive. And I needed to see, not a big red candle today, but a, a green spike to the upside, and then if it turned red by the end of the day, I'm fine with that. And what does it say? It says, <clears throat> in the spectrum of patterns and I spoke about this yesterday when I was on with uh, in interviewed by Jacob um, for my weekly interview I said have a look at this pattern you see the high that was made in this chart it's a monthly chart it doesn't matter what it is 244.46 on the 20 uh, in November of 2021 plummets down to around about 180 then it bounces makes an H that goes to a lowercase M pattern the M pattern that makes another arch formation and then it takes out just barely takes out the left side low that has been there for about a year and what does it do it goes to 161.47 October of 2023 and then what does it do it starts a move that goes peak A pulls back 9 period moving average goes green goes to the leg B 3 months later pulls back Three months later, it pulls back. And the fourth month, that's this month, it goes to leg C. Have a look at this. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to go there right now. Have a look at the right side chart. And what do you see? You see the chance that we're doing the same thing here. And now I can take away all these different patterns. I, I like to take away what's not what was done. Did his job. Out, 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 damn spot. And now what do we have? We have the cup formation. 
that starts on its way to the right side. It's called the quarrow. That's the uh, quarter of a semicircle. And what does it do? It goes to leg C. So this one's doing the same thing. So whereas the IWM was the lagging indicator, hasn't gone even close yet to the all-time highs, but it's on its way to attempt to get there. So we've got what? We've got the KRE, the S&P Regional Banking ETF, trying to follow the, its leader, which is the XLF. Let me just do this quickly. XLF going today, it made a new all-time high. Leg D, all these Ds say, yeah, I'm going to be a little careful just for a pullback, that's all. But everything here is fantastic. Um, and here it is, look, W formation, rising W formation. So now I can draw, if I had to draw this in, you'd see it takes it out. Look. I go like this, you've gone above it, but the week's young. We can still got a whole bunch of days to go. So let's see if it closes above that. Is this an E or is this a brand new A, B, C? So I'm going to put E slash C because all the other charts have shown that that was the top. That was a brand new buy signal. So I'm going to put E slash C. So you, this is the reason why I wanted to do the webinar. I actually wanted to do it tomorrow, but it just didn't work out that way. So I'm doing it Tuesday because of timing. I wanted to do it sooner. But look at this. We're starting to get the financials. You need the confirmation. I've been saying that for a long time. You need the confirmations of the financials to go to all-time highs with the general market. I'm not that impressed that if the IYT doesn't do it because it's got the airlines in it. Uh, that's a little different, but this is really important. And then I had said... But you need to see the regional banks rallying. Otherwise, it's a serious situation. Well, the KRE is finally rallying. Now, do you want to buy it at, where did I type that? Do you want to buy it going to new recovery highs, yearly highs, in fact? Um, yeah, I don't see any reason why not, but you've got to do it in a special way. Or you could do it with options, but you want to get your foot in the door. Three days, four days, five days ago, six days ago, I've been talking about the KRE, still didn't get in, and that's very silly because sometimes you just have to move, not just with your instincts, but with the technique, and the technique says the nine moving average is over the 14, it's positive, and the MACD is good. Stochastic now is outstanding at 95%. So how do you get in? That's the thing that I'll be discussing. We might even start tomorrow doing something with it, but this is now moving very well. If the regional banks are moving, that's very important. Okay, I've done that. Then I, the only thing I didn't say about the IWM is where's support? Support is all the way to 212 to 210, the 9 and 14 period moving average on the shorter term. The weekly chart, I, I don't want to get into that yet because it looks to me like the weekly chart doesn't even want to go there. It only wants to go to 218 and then to make another move to a leg C over a period of two, three weeks. So this is a very good uh, scenario that we're looking at right now in the IWM on a very short-term basis. Let's see if I can do that. Yep, there it is. So here is the 120-minute chart. It's in a leg F right now. Let me check. Yeah, leg F, and it's starting to pull back. So you, you do have to be a little careful. I'll be back in a moment. That's the chap. That's the chap. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model 
when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities. Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So I was asked on the NQ, could I show an expansion using some of the Chapman Wave techniques? Yeah, let me just show you something. So from this NQ, from the high that was made, uh, this is the futures, this is a continuous contract. The high that was made at 20,000, uh, 872 to the low that was made, not that other low, but this low right here at, at four o'clock yesterday afternoon of 20,377. I repeated the distance there and I said, what if it went to that particular high? This is the way I like to do it from a certain peaks to certain troughs. Well, that took you to exactly where we went to. It, it, it actually took it out this morning by a fraction. My level was looking uh, looking at uh, 20,140, and so far the low today is at 20,097. So the next level is right here, and that would be um, eight o'clock to. Oh no, wait, what am I doing? That's uh, 20,876. And you just want to go one step at a time. You've reached the one, so it says that okay, maybe now you can get a little bit of a bounce. Um, looking at the yeah, so this is, so if I did a fib right here from that high, whoops, grab it, like, there it is. From here, uh-oh, what am I doing? Wrong one. There you go. From there to there, just on a very short-term basis, meaning it's it's actually over a period of a couple of weeks, but I mean shorter term, we've broken the 382, so we can go down to the 238, and that takes you to about where we were looking. Yeah, so that's the one way I would look at it. But normally what I would do, I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, I'll do it. Okay. So that's the left side low. It's arching over. That's the right side. Let me get rid of the foot because it's looking a little messy right now. I, I just have more faith in my technique right now. And I normally would go, to this left side low, not the low right there, I'd go right here, and I'd go to the midpoint right there, that PG, it looks like a PG, then I'd go click, move it to the right, and it would say to me that by, by the 23rd, that's 23rd, oh, day of my webinar, Tuesday, we should be testing, that'll have to be pink, there you go. We'll be testing, and I go to the left side, high over there, uh, right there, and I draw it in. Yeah, and that's your inside wedge, target, support line. If it takes out this support line either today, 20,020, or 20, uh, 19,990, 
by tomorrow, uh, then there's a real good chance that this will be in place. So you've got the, oh, that's the first one. Then I'd go to the second one, but you've got to go one step at a time. And where's the, the resistance level? Well, the resistance level is um, right here, that low that was on the third, which is 20,205. So only about 50, 60 points above starts your resistance. If that's taken out, are you, I don't know if you can do it right now, but you could go to this 14 period moving average of 20,393. It's exactly the same thing on the queues. Look, the queues have exactly the same pattern. And that would say that you would go to the low of 476.26, the low of the 1st of, Ju 1st of July by Tuesday, if this continues to roll over and it looks like it is at this particular point. Next question is, whoops, where did it go? Can I look at... Can I look at GEO? GEO. GEO is, there we go, trading right now at 17.49, um, down 47 cents. This is only a leg C. It's still acting really well. We spoke about this the other day. The GEO Group, financing su uh, supply services or support services for immigration processing centers. Leg E in the monthly chart and a big spike to the upside. And that just says that that instant restart with the G-C makes us a likely candidate to call it a D right now in the weekly chart. So very strong uh, on the week. And uh, so it's a C in the daily. That's still very good. It could pull back and then I think it's going to go just a little above 18.10, maybe into the mid lower eight, 18s. And then I think it starts to pull back. That's the way it's looking right now. Key support, obviously, is in the gap, but I'm going to say all the way to 16.33. Um, that's your support right now. It's at 17.52. Nice. Good eye. Uh, next question I had was, if I can just go there. Whoops. Moving, moving, moving. No, it's not. All right. So let's just go to that. Now we can get it. So Tiger Chat. Okay. Um Good. Um, also looking as opposed to Jimmy Winehouse. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, PFE. Uh, Flesh wants to know about PFE. That's Pfizer. PFE, one of the great company, great pharmaceutical companies. Uh, made an all-time high in the 60s back in, uh, I think it was either December 2021 or January 2022. And... Um, Having, having a very nice bounce, the leg E to the upside in the daily chart, above the 200 period moving average, it's stalled there and it's taken it out. Leg C, and okay, so the question is, is this what the kind of thing you'll talk about on Tuesday where you had stocks that fantastic companies that have had major sell-offs, whereas in the same area like uh, uh, Eli Lilly has gone to all-time highs, this has gone from all-time highs down to lows, multi-year lows, um, is that what you're talking about? I will put these in the pie if they're questions that are asked. This isn't one that I would gravitate to because I think there's a lot going on in the chart of fires in the monthly and the weekly chart that says on a shorter term basis, the best thing is if you have, if you've done your homework and you like the nearer term look is to get in and then let the monthly tell you as it unfolds. Don't you, I wouldn't even think of the monthly. I'd just say, hey, the daily's done very nicely. It's gone to a leg E, and it's gone above the high that was made back in 2023. And that was a sudden peak that failed, peak A that failed, like a dreaded H right there. That's the week of the uh, 5th of January, 20, oh, this year, 2024. And that was at 30.28. We're trading right now at 29.89. We hit 30.30. Uh-huh. So that's gone above. That's really important. And there's been a left side, right side price time match. Whoa, it's done in a, a week or two earlier than you would have anticipated. It needs to close above that level. That will be really positive on the weekly chart of Pfizer. And let's go to the low that was made right there. And we'll click and say, where's it going to now? And you'll see that it's gone right through. That would have been my target right there. And this would be pink. And that would be inside. They are inside. Now, I like to do that. But when this inside wedge target resistance line 
see so many things taken out. I go back and I just make it a visual thing. It says to me that going from this low right here is much more pertinent, and that's it. And it goes exactly to another two weeks' time, and that's important because it's done this left side, right side price time match in a shorter period of time in the cup formation, and that's a good sign, but it needs to close above it for that to be really positive. So this is a good sign, but to be really positive, if there's a close above 30.30, I would like to say this week by Friday, I'm even gonna go to next week. That's gonna be a really good sign for Friday. Meantime, the support is at 28.60 to 27.90. I'll be back in a moment, Dow's up 87. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So just let's do an abbreviation, of, uh, it's kind of synopsis. Uh, I have a question about VFC groupers in the apparel sector. It had a big spike because it, it's like either spun off or sold down something. And it's really nice. It's trading at 15.37. It's trying for the 15.71, 200 period moving average. Then I think it's going to stall. And I also think it might have to fall some of the, watch 14.50 as key support. That's really what I'm looking at. And the monthly chart is horrible. Weekly chart is improving. Daily chart is quite nice. So that's the way I have to look at it. So, okay, question came in. Could I look at crude oil as we're about to go out? Yes, crude oil. You remember the chapter we've inside track, repellent zone? Right there. Look how many times it's hit and it's just failed. Until crude oil trades in the 85s, it's just going to be, it's holding well, but it's not breaking to the upside. So as it stands right now, I'd say that uh, below 79 is a problem and above 8370 
very good. That's the way I look at it. But right now, it's just kind of struggling to find its its directional move. In the meantime, it's really going sideways. And if you look at the weekly chart, this is an important uh, phase. It needs to break that resistance level. Now, the Dow is up 100 at uh, 41,000. Uh, what is that? Let me just do this right here. So as I'm looking at it, this is telling me the action today confirms what I've been talking about, that there is a rotation going on. I don't see any. There could have been a huge downside smash today if the Dow did its usual thing after a 700-point move and pulled back 350 points. Nobody would have said anything. It isn't. It's moving up. It means that the Dow 30 is the U.S. economy. It seems to be looking ahead, and so far, it likes what it sees. That's important. So that's the Dow. The IWM is the other one, and it's just having a bit of a breather. But I like the action. And I suspect that it is going to find some leadership, but it's a process. The speed with which it ran right now, it might have to give up something in the shorter term. And I hope it does. But in the meantime, it's one of the leaders. That's important. SMHs are telling you that you've got a rotation going on. And they're sex, it's like QQQ, the SMHs, semis, that need to breathe that test to treat as a bifurcated market and trade that. Thank you for Steve Rose for great programming. Don't forget my